All right, in the last lesson, we introduced polar coordinates, and we said that polar coordinates are given by the distance from this center point, which we call the pole, and the angle from this polar axis. Um, and notice that we could give any polar coordinate, any position in the entire plane, we could describe using positive polar coordinates. Um, our angle, we can give any direction by uh, giving an angle between zero and 360 degrees or between zero and two pi radi radians. And we can give any distance as a positive value. However, um, when we start using polar coordinates, when we start um, doing some math with them, and uh, especially when we get into polar equations and things like that, um, it's going to become necessary for us to, we're going to come across some uh, negative numbers in our polar coordinates. And we, so we need to think about what those mean. Um, so what does it mean to have a negative angle, first of all? I'll start with angles because we've already talked about those. Remember in trigonometry, we said that positive angles are measured in the counterclockwise direction. And if we measure in the, in the clockwise direction, that's a negative angle. And so all we, if we have a, a negative value for our angle, for our theta, that just means start here at the polar axis, and instead of going measuring your angle in the clockwise direction, your counterclockwise direction, measure clockwise. Um, now for the, for the uh, distance, for the r value, uh, if that's negative, then we're going to go to our angle, and instead of going out toward that angle, we're going to go in the opposite direction. So let's graph these three uh, points, and I'll show you um, what I mean by this. So this first point has a negative r and a positive theta. So we're going to go first to 30 degrees. So it's going to be somewhere out on this, uh, on this line here, out toward 30 degrees. But um, instead of going out that direction, we're going to go the opposite direction, which is going to be out here toward 210 degrees. Um, and we're going to go out two units. So one, two, right there is going to be the point A. All right, we went to 30 degrees and then went in the opposite direction, two, to give our negative two. All right, for B, we have a positive R but a negative theta. So uh, in measuring uh, negative two pi over three, we're gonna go this direction, two pi over three. Now we don't have the negative angles labeled on here, but um, our angles should always, our negative angle, uh, if we add 360 degrees, that's gonna tell us what it would be as a positive angle. Or uh, in this case, if we add two pi radians. Um, so two, negative two pi over three, if we add two pi radians, two pi is six pi over three. So a negative two pi over three is the same as four pi over three. So if we come down here, this right here is the angle negative two pi over three, coming out here to four pi over three. And we're gonna come out five units in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five down here. And that's going to be the point B. So let me make that, that clear again to, to know uh, what the positive version of our negative angle would be. Uh, if it's in radians, you're going to add two pi radians. If it's in degrees, you'll add 360 degrees. So let's try that with our, with our last equation, both our, both of our coordinates are negative. Um, so negative 45 degrees, if we add 360 degrees, that's the same as 315 degrees. Negative 45 plus 360 is 315. So our negative, going negative 45 degrees is the same as going all the way around in the positive direction to 315. So this is our angle. And instead of coming out toward this angle, three units, we're going to go away from it. So we're going to go up this direction, three units. So one, two, three, 
right there is going to be our point c.